stuff, so we can... Um, I can talk really loud, don't worry. <laughs> um, I don't really have a story to resent because it's all on my computer. I'm still working on it. It's a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be because um, I'm going to talk about Doctor Who, so if you don't know the show, sorry. But it's it shouldn't be like that hard. Like You'll still get the gist of what I'm saying. Um, so I'm talking, I wanted to write about Donna. Um, she's my favorite companion because like the doctor travels with different companions and stuff. And Yes, yeah. she's so awesome. And like the reason is because like this this assignment was kind of supposed to help us like explore like who we are. And I kind of have a really good sense of who I am. Like I know my personality, I know my strengths, I know all my flaws very well. So and the reason that I like Donna is because she reminds me so much of myself. Like she's very loud and assertive, but she also kind of questions her ability sometimes. And so I really related to her as a character. So I thought it would be cool to like explore myself through her because it's it kind of removes that bias that you have when you're writing about yourself because like everyone's biased when you're writing about yourself it's just the way it is so I was kind of exploring Donna's character because basically like she has this awesome season like she saves the universe and stuff because she's a boss but the doctor has to remove all her memories sorry that's cool for you but it's been out for like five years yeah, yeah. Um, right now. so the doctor had to remove all her memories because like there's brain issues like lots of you know stuff and things so he had to remove all her memories and she didn't want to because she had like no confidence in herself and her abilities and um over the course of the season she kind of saw how like she saw her strength and she had found the confidence in herself so the doctor kind of had to take all that confidence away from her and it was tragic i'm still not over it but it was a really really good season so what i have so far um a lot of people have written like the doctor kind of going to Donna like as she's dying and like restoring her memory and it's emotional and I didn't want to do that because it's been done so many times so I'm having the doctor um, go to visit her daughter after Donna's passed away and so he starts talking to the daughter about her mom um, it's still a pretty rough draft because it's a lot of dialogue which is hard to write like you can't just have five pages of dialogue so it's a bit tougher than I thought it was going to be. But um, he goes to visit her daughter, and he's just talking to her about her mom and like his memories of her mom, and he still feels so guilty about what happened to her. Because even though she didn't die, like a part of her personality kind of died. Like that confidence that she had and that like realization that she was a boss and like she can do things. Like she saved so many people. And like if I saved the world, I would want to remember. <laughs> I mean, to be honest. So he still feels really guilty, and like he just he's going and he's talking to the daughter. It's Christmas Eve, so I got within the Christmas spirit. It was very nice. I'm so excited for Christmas. And he talks to the daughter, and she kind of he tells her the story of her mom through the doctor's eyes, which I thought was cool because the doctor loves Donna, like they're best mates, like they're besties, right? And so he's kind of telling Donna's story through her eyes, and he kind of like ends it with like an apology to the daughter, like, I'm sorry that there was nothing I could do. And the do and it's just kind of like, I'm trying to make it a moment of kind of, not atonement, but like, he's asking forgiveness because he couldn't ask Donna to forgive him. So he's asking her daughter. And she, of course, she's like, it ends happy and stuff. And that's pretty much it. Like, I can't really tell the story because it's mostly just dialogue. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> if you have any questions. No, great, great oh, summary. Uh, questions, comments? Um, A plus taste the companion. I know, right? right? I'm still upset too, so I would love that story. Isn't <laughs> everyone? Oh, everyone's so upset. Yes. And I definitely agree with your observation that dialogue is hard to write. I think your story sounds, it sounds very strong. Like, I have to have like, the file crack, like the fire's crackling every like five seconds, just to, like break it up. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, um, I, I really like your observation that of course the story sounds heroic because the doctor loved Donna, but I really think it shines just in the way you describe her, how like, even if I didn't know her, I would still see her heroic journey. And I really like your commentary on how, even though if she lost those memories, she didn't really lose herself. Thank you. Nice. Thanks. Anyone else? Sorry, I don't have like, questions. I'm just everyone. Yeah, questions oh, or comments? Uh, just to help say, yeah, she, you know. Finishes yeah, do you have any tips for writing dialogue? Yeah, any, yeah, any <laughs> oh my god, tell me. I am a dialoguer. <laughs> Please tell me. All right. Because it's. You mean like, right now? Yeah. No, later. Okay. Oh, yeah, like, uh, like, I'm not the best at writing dialogue either. Just like tips. I have a few tips if you want to come to me. I, I embrace but, uh, all help. What I, what I recommend is make it very organic. 
Uh-huh. That's like what I've been trying to do, I like think. Like fruits and animals. Yeah, a, lot like, of, like, a lot of carbon molecules. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's made of carbon molecules. Like, try to step, extra. like, like whatever character you're trying to write for, like, try to step in their mindset, if that makes sense. Like, like what would, like, what would they say, but, like, not, mm. like, but, and then have it just kind of come out. Like, what I like to do is, like, like, especially, like, when I write that, but, like, for my characters, like, what I like to do is, like, I like to step inside them and, like, like, what would I say as this character? And I like to play out that character. I like to do motions as that character. So would you basically walk around pretending to be that character? And Sometimes, yes. Yeah, exactly. Like, Sometimes. when I was writing, like, I kind of, like, did this cat and camera thing. I was, like, step back, citizen. I just did that a lot. <laughs> okay, so I'll talk the Sorry. I had, um, now that you brought up tips, I found that characterization, a lot of it can come through body language. And I think, depending on which version of the doctor you have, it's still a very body character. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, That's what I've been trying to do, like, talk with body language, but yeah. he's not Shakira, so I mean, I don't know what you do. Yeah. So. Thank you, that's pretty much right. it. Yay! Right, let's keep going.